I'm on a mission to run 365 days consecutively. I want to lose weight, I want to overcome my ACL knee injury, and I want to stay fit and healthy. Come along for the journey. Oh yeah, rain, glorious rain. <laughs> it actually rains in Mexico. <laughs> and look at this, fantastic. So my first wet day on the run. And uh, let's get going, because I'm late this morning. Well, it's pretty wet. Day six, folks. Day six, and my first run in the rain in Mexico. Amazing. All these months it's been so dry. And now I get to run in the rain. There's no one else out this morning. Because it's raining, you've got to keep going no matter what. bit of water doesn't stop you right okay so today I'm gonna do six K's again you must be sick of me saying that but that's what I'm gonna do and uh, we'll see how we go see you soon I can't talk I absolutely sprinted my last lap today absolutely sprinted and I I think I did the best one lap time that I've ever done until then it was hard very, very hard. So, uh, be honest, yes. Okay. Hey. So, a couple more crazy people like me out running this morning. And, oh, that was fantastically bad and good all at the same time. Running is so, such a paradox, yeah. Oh, it's pouring down now. Look at it. <laughs> ah, I love the rain no that was a good run I was tired my legs were tired for the first 15 laps and then uh, yeah the mine came into play and I was able to run a good last five laps so I'm happy with that today and it's the first day since I started the challenge that we're running in rain and it's beautiful I love running in rain it's fantastic. A couple of things you got to think about when you're running rain, right? You're going to get wet and you're going to stay wet. So once that's done, nothing worse can go wrong, right? It's full steam ahead. So get wet, enjoy it. It does keep you a bit cooler, although here we've got still high humidity and it's the middle of summer, but it is a little bit cooler than normal. It's better than having a sun beating down on my head. And uh, yeah, your shoes are going to get soaking wet. You're going to step in puddles, all those things that we know, but just do it. They're very minor obstacles to the big goal. And the big goal is 365 days of running. So here we go. That was quite a run this morning in the rain and it was beautiful. So. Uh really 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 enjoyed that so day six is done and dusted for my 365 day challenge and i just wanted to spend a minute or two this morning talking about mental health because i know a lot of people out there and maybe some of you that watch these videos are suffering at the moment from all kinds of mental health um, pressures and i'm somebody that suffered from mental health over the years and dealing with different situations in my life and one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I wanted to do this challenge is because running for me makes me feel great. It just gives me something extra in my life. 
And I've always gone to running as a thing that helped me get my balance and to get me fit and just making me feel good about everything in general. So I'm taking on this challenge as part of my mental health uh, awareness. And one of the tools that I use to impact my mental health in a positive way. And all sorts of things happen when you're doing a challenge like this. First of all, you've got the challenge itself. So you've got a goal, you've got a commitment to yourself that you're making. And now that I'm putting it online, I'm, I'm making myself accountable to others. But the most important thing is that I'm making a commitment to myself that every day I'm going to get up, I'm going to go for a run. And I know that that running process is going to make me feel better as a person. And that's really, really important. So understanding that mental health is such an important part of our lives. Um, any form of exercise we get, we don't have to go running every day. We don't have to go cycling or swimming, but we can do something. Even just going for a walk is a fantastic way of clearing your mind and getting some energy flowing, some blood flowing throughout your body. So if you're somebody out there who's struggling at the moment and you're looking for new ways in which to overcome some of these struggles and you haven't been somebody that's done regular exercise, then I really recommend it because it's a great thing to, to use as a way of helping you with your mental health. And as you'll see throughout these videos, I've got lots of different tools that I've used and are using to help me uh, maintain a better healthy lifestyle. And I shared one the other day in fasting and using fasting as a daily process to help me has been something else that's been really, really helpful in my fight against depression, severe anxiety and all those other things. So getting a balance in life is really, really important. Taking time for yourself uh, among everything else, loving yourself, respecting yourself. You are good enough. You are good enough for other people, no matter what anybody says. And uh, those are really, really important things to remember. Uh, and I remind myself and reflect on those things on a regular basis. So as day six of my challenge comes to an end, I'm looking forward to day seven, which will be the end of my first week and only 51 more weeks to go. But I'm loving doing this. I'm already feeling the benefits. And uh, tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna share some of the benefits that I've already achieved in the first week of doing this challenge. So. Until then, uh, have a happy Saturday no matter where you are in the world, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Ciao.